creamy. I'll tell you about the most popular classic version of Papalina. While we're making it though, I'll also tell you about the slightly fancier version for discerning palates. It's a pasta that has its own space requirements, so choose a pan or even a casserole dish. A somewhat spacious pot, a drop of oil, a small piece of paper. Strengthen. And let's get on with it. Knob of butter. The pickiest say extra virgin oil, but in truth the recipe says butter. For three servings, one medium-sized white onion, and about this everyone agrees. And it should be chopped quite finely. Brown three minutes on low heat. Dice cooked ham about 50 grams each. Those in the AUXA, Office of Complications, Simple Affairs will say, No, Gabriele, we definitely need raw ham of Norcia. No, it takes cooked ham. Then some people also use raw ham, but it's optional. Cubes or small strips. Whatever you prefer, usually you make cubes. When the onion is a tiny bit transparent, almost brown, we can add the cooked ham or raw ham according to your choice. And it should be browned for two to three minutes. It should not be fried, it should be browned. The peas go in. Again, fancy school of thought, such as those who put ham don't put peas. But in the official popular recipe, they go peas either fresh or frozen. In any case, don't put them raw directly. Inside the cooked ham, there is already pasta water. Put them in the pasta water three minutes and then pass them through so you eat them cooked because raw maybe bother meanwhile the cooked ham has browned a little bit look at the bottom of the pot you see it tends to stick a little bit we take it off the stove the peas three minutes have passed we take them out of the water and put them in with the ham drip a little water so we stop the ham from cooking pepper fresh black pepper like there's no tomorrow three egg yolks together with 100 grams of parmesan and one whole egg, as they say for the pan. Gabriele, but you had to toast the pepper separately in a holy pan. No guys, I emphasize a little this thing here of coolness in cooking. It's a popular recipe, you should not confuse it with carbonara, cacio e pepe, etc. It's popular and it was born that way, you know, in its simplicity. Then someone complicated it a little bit with raw ham, with olive oil, with roasted pepper. But the basic recipe is this simple, straightforward one. Gabriele, I use pecorino. Look, you understood nothing. Use what you want, do what you want. Fresh pepper also in the... I say it. Carbo cream. Just a tiny drop of water to dilute the egg. Tagliatelle, fettuccine, whatever you want, whatever you like. Of course, the water was already salted. Pasta if fresh, 150 grams. If dry, 100 grams. Per person, make sure. But it's not that I resent the gastro fancy. It's that punctually, when you touch these recipes here, always comes the professor. You don't do that. You don't understand anything. They broke my c Cooking al dente. Ladle with water, because otherwise they are too dry. On the stove. Before they heat up, I put the eggs in. Mix the eggs right away so they don't have an omelette effect. I still take the eggs to temperatures above 60 degrees because I don't like raw eggs, don't like them. However, I still want to keep them creamy. And how do you cook the eggs? Keeping them creamy? They need to be slightly wet, medium heat and shake them often without destroying fettuccine. The result must be this creamy egg here under the fettuccine. The sound you should hear is this. Serve it nice and hot, creamy. And put two peas on top of it, a little bit of ham, a little bit of fresh pepper on top. Many years ago, the first time I tasted this recipe, it had cream in it. I thought it was a recipe for children, for kindergarten. But no, my two cents, without cream, you know, with the egg. With the Parmesan cheese, well creamy consistency to perfection, is something exceptional, delicious. I make every fork full with pepper. If he knows, my urologist gets angry. Pope Tovican had to be pious to oven. You know, he had simple tastes, because anyway, it's two ingredients, really poor, really simple to make. And all in all, great recipe. Gabriele, but with your bomb tasting, you don't leave anything for Beatrice? Why not? Three servings, two for me.
and one for her. Tastings like the bomb are great. So good. Hi, everyone. I'm eating. Are you always eating? But I'm not. But are you still filming? We'll be done, but you go ahead and eat. I carry my duty forward all the way. Good.